Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, you guys. So it went down this weekend. If you guys don't know, Hennessy Carolina and Ra Ali got into it. It's been a bunch of drama going on between the fandoms and now the ladies are into it as well, okay? So what initially happened is that some of the barbs were accused of saying, saying that Hennessy Carolina had a sex tape out and she was snorting cocaine off of some dude's peen. And as most people know, Hennessy Carolina, who is Cardi B's little sister, she is gay. She's in a lesbian relationship with her girlfriend. Off her penis. So she can't really, yeah. you know, you can't really say nothing. Anyway, that was some neck fake porn stuff. Nasty about, bitch. Like, you know, I don't, I don't care about that whole, all I can keep saying is try me. Just she can't be trying to. Uh, okay. She can't try. She ain't gonna do I nothing. Ready. I'm I'm worried about these pussy ass bitches. Okay, these loud yeah. ass loud bitches, all loud mouth, no bite. Bitch with her bum ass lace front. <clears throat> you don't want no problems. But anyway, honey, thank you for joining this live. It's and so she took to social media to address this and she went off. So Hennessy says, these bars are trying hard, are trying hard with a fake sex tape claiming it's me sniffing coke off a guy. First off, I don't do drugs. Second, I'm gay. Try again next time. Y'all mad. The barbs are the biggest low lives of the century. Then she goes on to say, y'all asking why I'm beefing with a fan base, but y'all not asking why someone with so much influence would use their fan base to manipulate their fans, to spread so much negativity and hate. She leaked my sister's number to her fan page. Same shit she did to Mariah Lynn. To, it's easy for y'all to ask why I'm bothered, why I care so much. So none of you are waking up to death threats every day, made up stories that could affect your real life and my real relationships. Imagine if this was your infant child. Imagine if this was your sister or your mother. Who with the real heart and real fucking feelings is going to continue to let a group of people harass them? If you wouldn't defend yourself or your family, cool, but not me, not never. So another female ends up asking Hennessy. She says, but you're always the one bringing up Nikki where she wasn't even mentioned. You seem like a fan here, babe. She mentions my sister all the time when she gets on her radio show. She likes shady comments about my sister constantly. Her two bimbo friends go on live and talk about my sister all the time on their fake ass podcast with 500 viewers, but I can't say nothing. Fuck out of here. That's my family. You can suck my dick. So then once Ra Ali got wind of that, she jumped in Hennessy's comments and they went back and forth. So go ahead and check this out. So Ra Ali says, keep playing with me, dumb bitch, and I'm gonna rag you like I did your sister. Then Hennessy says, I then Hennessy said, I'm not scared of none of you water buffalo built ass bitches. You knew better than to write that shit. That's why you deleted it. Say that bully shit for IG and pop the fuck off in real life. Then Ra Ali responds, she says, I didn't delete anything, and you know that. It's very much still there unless you deleted it. I don't have to play on the internet with you. You seen, you seen your big sis when she got home. You know what's up. You next. Then Hennessy says, you did delete the comment. You thought twice. Security did that goofy ass shit because your friend wouldn't do shit. You tried to swing on my sister, and patience ran down on your ass. You ain't rag shit. Rag me in person, you bitch. You bitches ain't tough. You bitches do this shit for entertainment. I'm with the shits right now. Then Ra Ali says, listen, Dumbo, I know you aren't the sharpest knife in the drawer, but the comment is still there. And the security scenario was cute, and we even let you rock with it. But what you're not going to do is be a bully. Anyway, shorty, say less. We'll cross paths soon enough. Honey. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. So then after that, Cardi took to social media and she also addressed the situation. So y'all go ahead and check out Cardi's video right here. And then after that, Hennessy Carolina posted video footage of all the death threats they were getting, you know, people harassing them, their numbers leaking. Go ahead and check this out as well. I be going to my sister's page commenting fuck shit. And when my sister replied back to y'all, y'all be dumb hurt and want to be harassing. Proving my point exactly. Y'all niggas be obsessed with me, obsessed with my family, obsessed with the people that I work around. Like, this how obsessed y'all are. Patience, you here? She left. How y'all motherfuckers go to my publicist's Instagram, then go to her fucking boyfriend Instagram and start commenting shit? Because y'all niggas stay on dick. And then on top of that, y'all going around, y'all going around fucking, um... 
Y'all going around fucking spreading this video of some bitch snorting coke off a dick trying to say that that's my sister. Bitch, first of all, my sister don't do drugs. She only smoke weed. And second, my sister's gay. She's a lesbian. So how can that be possible? Get off the dick. Never. Because if y'all niggas is in New York, I will tell you where I'm at. Where the fuck I'm at? I once even told a bitch while I was in Atlanta, pull the fuck up. Since you want to talk so much shit online. That niggas is scary. Alright, so you guys just saw what Cardi B had to say. You guys also saw the video that Hennessy posted showing her phone number getting leaked and people attacking them. So now today, Nicki Minaj has taken to Queen's radio. She stated on Instagram that she was going to talk about this situation. And she did today on Queen's radio. And she's also stating that she's willing to give somebody $100,000 if they come up with the security footage showing that Ra Ali put hands on Cardi B. So I want you guys to go ahead and check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Ra, really? Really, really beat Cardi's ass bad mm. like really bad and I'm not trying to you know and I'm not trying to be messy you went home and told people that security hit you and we let that lie continue because of legal reasons I told Ra don't tell anyone you hit her because I don't want nobody trying to sue me because they're going to come to the person with money mm-hmm Instead, you went home and told you, I guess you had to look like a gangster in front of your friends and your family and da, 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 I get it. Ra beat you so bad that I was mad at Ra. Like Ra, I'm talking about the punches was so hard in your head that I was mad at Ra. I'm like, yo, I do. You know what I'm saying? Like the fuck? <laughs> but Ra didn't like her attitude. I once thought that Queen Radio would be about me putting anyone on blast however i feel like i keep on getting baited yesterday or whatever i think you know the sister was just saying some more really rude things about me lies and so should i just not defend myself ever like should i just and there's no way i can lie about this because i guarantee fucking to you there is surveillance footage in the building where the where the assault took place Ra really, really beat Cardi's ass bad. Mm. Ra held her head and punched her like, I don't know, eight, nine, ten times. And I could hear it. And it was like, like, I'm talking about the hardest punches you've ever heard in your life. Anybody that want to pull up the surveillance footage, I will give you $100,000. Leaking numbers? What type of bird are you talking about, Stop lying on me. Like, leave me the f alone. You wanted my attention, sister. You've been taught, you've been saying fucked up shit about me. Now you know the truth. You got your family saying that I need to control my fans, but you're not controlling your family when they're calling me saying I'm on stage looking like a crackhead. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So what's good, girl? Like, are we going to be, you know, civilized and mature? And tell everyone around us to relax or not. Like, what? All right, so you guys just heard what Nicki Minaj had to say. So that was just a few snippets. It's a lot longer. So this entire situation is crazy. So, of course, 
Now that Nicki Minaj's Queen Radio is out, social media is going crazy. People are going back and forth on Twitter. Nicki Minaj is trending. Cardi is trending. Queen Radio is also trending. And also, Nicki just dropped a new video with Tyga called Dip. So that's also trending. So some people feel like she's only saying this and trying to create a buzz because of this new video, this new single. Other people are saying that she's just tired of her name constantly being brought up and she's defending herself. So when I tell you there's an all-out war right now on social media, between the Barb's and Barty gang, it is insane. Y'all go ahead and chat these tweets and these comments and what folks have to say on social media. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Right, so you guys just saw those comments the memes like I said it's definitely down the middle okay I have to look at it like this okay you know Nikki says she has the footage she had her own personal cameraman but then she also says that she's willing to pay somebody a hundred grand to leak the footage so that part kind of has me confused I'm like well if you have the footage of Ra Ali whooping her ass why not just put it out there you know what I'm saying so obviously it had a lot of folks confused not just me because Nicki Minaj took to Twitter to address this okay so Nicki Minaj says, for the slow ones in the back, I offered money for the footage from the venue. I have footage on my own camera, but I was asking for overhead footage that the venue may have. Hashtag Queen Radio. Y'all listen to snippets of my show. And thank y'all of Albert Einstein. Hashtag Dip Video. Now, if that's not crazy enough, after she made that tweet, all of a sudden, honey, when I tell you Cardi B said, you know what? Today I got time, cuz. You lucky on that day I was acting cool, cuz. What? Nigga, what's up? How gangster are you, cuz? I don't fuck with you, cuz you disrespecting me. I don't fuck with you, cuz you disrespecting me. I go hard, cuz. <laughs> yes, Cardi definitely had time today. She went in on Instagram. When I tell you, she dropped so much tea and she dropped receipts basically blasting everything that Nikki said today on Queen Radio. So this is an update. Y'all go ahead and check all of this stuff out right here. This is my thing, Nicki Minaj, right? How you saying that I got ragged by Riley when there is so many footages of that night, every single angle, and where am I getting ragged at? Why would I be here sitting in line like, oh yeah, I did this, I did that, knowing that the next day there's going to be so much footages of that same night? And second of all, how you say that I was the, the wild animal, that I attacked you, that you was mortified, that you was humiliated, playing the victim, but now you're the gangster. You need to pick a side. Do you want to be the victim or do you want to be the gangster? You lie so much, you can't even keep up with your fucking lies. First, you're saying that you got the footage, your cameraman got the footage, but now you're talking about you want to pay somebody 100000 if they give you the footage? Yo, make sense when you're talking. I thought you was the victim. I know what this footage of. You standing on the wall talking about, I'm standing right here, Miss Chung Lee, the street fighter. Get the fuck out of here. Now you're trying to say that I'm trying to stop your bag because 21 Savage didn't do a music video with you. Sis, I'm not even that close to that man. So how can I have that power to um, that man to tell him, hey, don't do this music video that you're getting paid for for me. Get the fuck out of here. That song, that no flag song, that they didn't do the music video with you, 21 and Offset, the song wasn't doing good. It wasn't doing that much numbers. So why would they waste their time? And since you want to bring that motorsport shit up again, I'm glad you brought it up because I've been dying to talk about it for a fucking hot minute. First of all, you changed your verse two or three times, and the day before, 
we were supposed to do the motorsport video, you turn in your last verse of it. And I was not feeling of you talking about, oh, if Cardi the QB, I'm Nick Lombardi, following it up with, bitch, you my son, go sit on a party. Bitch, you not my coach, because you never helped me to get in this fucking career, and I'm nothing like you, so you, I'm definitely not your fucking son. I'm a real-ass person. You not. So fuck out of here. And I called you that night. Oh, and I got the receipts, babe. All right. This is my phone. I'm going to my camera that I went all the way up. October 22nd. This was your number. I called you twice and you didn't answer. No, show you. Show you. Show you. It's from the beginning. And I told my label, I'm not doing the video if she don't change her verse. And then my thing is, if you had a problem that I went on the radio and I said that you changed your verse, which you did, which I'm not lying, sis, you had a whole six months to call my phone and talk about it like a grown-ass woman, or you could have hit up Quavo so we could link up like the first time that we linked up and talk about shit in L.A. But no, you waited a whole six months... When you drop the single to talk about it, how convenient is that? Wow, how convenient is fucking that? And then, let's talk about the leak number shit, right? Let, tell me if this don't make sense. How come my phone number got leaked one hour after that altercation at the Harper's Bazaar party? Tell me how Mariah Lynn number got leaked a couple of weeks, a couple of months. I'm not sure when... You know, that whole Gwyneth situation was happening. And Ra Lee used to have her number. Jason Lee's phone number just got leaked recently. And who had his number? Ra Lee. How come everybody that y'all have issues with, that y'all have the numbers in y'all camp, their numbers got leaked? My sister just got into an argument with Ra Lee, right? Well, how come my sister number haven't gotten leaked? Because y'all don't have it. How come my new number hasn't gotten leaked? Because y'all don't have it. Isn't that fucking funny? Ain't that shit fucking funny? Hmm. And then the people that texted my phone, that texted Mariah Lynn phone, that texted Jason Lee phone, were all barbs. You're the common denominator on it. So, you tell me. You fucking tell me. Then, after my sister posted those disturbing text messages. Oh, wait, wait. Let me show ya. This is my phone. Let me go to my text messages. I went all the way down from that fucking same day. Look. Look, this was the one that fucking got me tighted the most. And look, it starts from all the way down here, all the way down here. Oh, and it started all the way from up here. All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. And after my sister showed those text messages, look what you do. You go on your Twitter and you start liking shit like this. You start liking shit um, like this endorsing that type of nasty ass fucking behavior bitch you're fucking sick in the head and you out here saying that i'm trying to stop your bag right but i'm actually helping you get a bag because that diesel deal that you got yeah that came to me first and i had to decline it because i'm already working with fashion brands you know which y'all gonna see because there's more than fashion nova then that woman like me wrecker yeah, I had to decline it because I'm doing a lot of pop records, so I can't, you know, over-exaggerate myself. But that came to me first. And then they give it to you. Oh, wait, but let me show you. Not for the juice. One second. This on my media. You hear that open verse, right? Ah, uh, okay. Okay, period. Wait, and then you once said that I never showed you genuine love. And that's crazy because when you pull up all my videos, you see that I'm always showing you respect. Because you're somebody that I listened to ever since I was in high school. And that's crazy to me because I show you respect, but the difference between me and a lot of these bitches, I don't suck your dick. That's the difference. What you need to do is stop focusing on other people, focus on yourself, and focus on your craft because you're out here fucking up your legacy looking like a fucking hater. Now, after Cardi B went on her rant, she also brought out a bunch of receipts. Here goes one where she's talking about the 21 Savage situation. The producer of Crippy Crush song, Now Leave Me the Fuck Alone. So basically, he's confirming this for Cardi B. On top of that, she has other receipts here saying that Cardi B has become the highest-selling female rapper for two years straight. 
And then she also posted receipts where she got emails from the company Diesel to work on a clothing brand before Nicki Minaj. So she posted a lot of receipts. But I think the one that's even more crazy is that Mariah Lynn was in the shade room commenting and she also posted a picture of her mother. She stated that her mom was jumped by the barbs. So this is really sad. As you guys all know, Mariah Lynn's mother has had a lot of, you know, substance abuse issues. She was on Love and Hip Hop New York. But this is what Mariah Lynn wrote. She says, let's not forget when they jumped my mom in the streets after asking her if she was my mother to send a message to me to not come for the queen just because I don't publicize shit doesn't mean it's not happening. Then she also took to the shade room and she said this. At Couture Connections, she knows what the fuck she did and she's very aware of how strategically to do stuff so it doesn't come back on her. Ra's the only person who had mine who had me and Cardi's number and both our numbers got leaked, but not Henny's because they didn't have it. Get the fuck out of here. Then her friends don't say shit to me at the VMAs, but record me while I wasn't paying attention. Meanwhile, they didn't even have seats. They were seat fillers, but bitches didn't say one peep to me. It's more like leave us the fuck alone. So it looks like, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. You know, it seems like there's a lot of rocks being thrown and hands being hidden. So Mariah Lynn is also speaking out. This is causing so much drama on the internet right now. It's insane. So now, of course, after Mariah Lynn said her piece and Cardi said her piece, Nicki Minaj came back with a vengeance. So then what happened is that the CEO of Wilhelmina had some words for Cardi B. His name is Bill Wackerman. And he says, tell the truth, boo. That Diesel deal was built around the one and only queen. The truth shall set you free at Nicki Minaj at I am Cardi B. I've got the receipts. So then Nicki Minaj comes on there and she replies back to him. She says, poor baby has no idea. Fashion Nova asked me to do that deal she's had for over a year. And on top of that, Nicki Minaj also said this. The only rapper in the history of rap who can only talk about deals and songs she supposedly turned down because she can't talk about a verse that she's ever written. Fucking fraud. So when I tell you this drama is just going crazy. They are literally going back and forth. Cardi B posted some more receipts. Honey, I can't keep up. This video will end up being an hour long if I don't stop right here. You know, I just think there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that a lot of us will never be privy to that we don't know. But the main thing that's just fanning all of this drama is the fans, okay? When you go to any comment section, I don't care what the topic is, okay? And there'll literally be somebody in the comment section saying, like this if you think Nikki's the queen, or like this if you think it's all about Cardi. It's like they're turning every topic into making these two women beef, and it's just insane how bad it's gotten. You know what I'm saying? You got Hennessy Carolina and Ra Ali going back and forth, you know, and I understand Hennessy being tired and her trying to, you know, take up for her family. You know, I get Get that but at some point in time the whole situation just needs to stop being talked about because it's just creating more drama they're both seeing themselves as right in this situation all we can do is just sit back and watch how everything unfolds okay so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning not only cardi b and Nicki minaj they're back and forth Nicki minaj addressing things on queen radio and also hennessy carolina getting into it raw ali um do you believe that raw ali was the one who beat up cardi B, or do you feel like Nicki Minaj is just making that up? She's over exaggerating. Right in front of me, I shot this video of her walking out at 10:54. So this happened swift and quick. So everyone's saying that there was this whole altercation. These two girls were so far apart. There was no way that Nicki or Cardi even touched each other. That bump on her head definitely came from a security guard. And then, how do you guys feel about Ra Ali and Hennessy Carolina going back and forth? And then, do you feel like Nicki or semi Nicki's entourage? had something to do with the leaking of the phone numbers because that's where a lot of this drama seems to stem from as of late is that their phone numbers were leaked. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Nikki! <laughs> hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.